I am Ra. I greet you in the love and in the light of the one infinite creator. We communicate now. Question 31.2 Questioner, could you define sexual energy transfer and expand upon its meaning, please? Answer, I am Ra. Energy transfer implies the release of potential energies across, shall we say, a potentiated space. The sexual energy transfers occur due to the polarizations of two mind, body, spirit complexes, each of which have some potential difference one to the other. The nature of the transfer of energy or of the blockage of this energy is then a function of the interaction of these two potentials. In the cases where transfer takes place, you may liken this to a circuit being closed. You may also see this activity, as all experiential activities, as the creator experiencing itself. Question 31.3 Questioner, could this then be the primal mechanism for the creator to experience itself? Answer, I am Ra. This is not a proper term. Perhaps the adjectives will be, one appropriate, way of the creator knowing itself, for in each interaction, no matter what the distortion, the creator is experiencing itself. The bisexual knowing of the creator by itself has the potential for two advantages. Firstly, in the green ray activated being there is the potential for a direct and simple analog of what you may call joy, the spiritual or metaphysical nature which exists in intelligent energy. This is a great aid to comprehension of a truer nature of beingness. The other potential advantage of bisexual reproductive acts is the possibility of a sacramental understanding or connection, shall we say, with the gateway to intelligent infinity, for with appropriate preparation, work in what you may call magic may be done and experiences of intelligent infinity may be had. The positively oriented individuals concentrating upon this method of reaching intelligent infinity, then, through the seeking or the act of will, are able to direct this infinite intelligence to the work these entities desire to do, whether it be knowledge of service or ability to heal or whatever service to others is desired. These are two advantages of this particular method of the Creator experiencing itself. As we have said before, the corollary of the strength of this particular energy transfer is that it opens the door, shall we say, to the individual mind, body, spirit complexes desire to serve in an infinite number of ways another self, thus polarizing towards positive. Question 31.4 Questioner can you expand somewhat on the concept that this action not only allows the Creator to know itself better but also creates, in our density, an offspring or makes available the pathway for another entity to enter this density? Answer, I am Ra. As we have previously said, the sexual energy transfers include the red ray transfer which is random and which is a function of the second density attempt to grow, to survive, shall we say. This is a proper function of the sexual interaction. The offspring, as you call the incarnated entity, takes on the mind-body complex opportunity offered by this random act or event called the fertilization of egg by seed which causes an entity to have the opportunity to then enter this density as an incarnate entity. This gives the two who were engaged in this bisexual reproductive energy transfer the potential for great service in this area of the nurturing of the small experienced entity as it gains in experience. It shall be of interest at this point to note that there is always the possibility of using these opportunities to polarize towards the negative, and this has been aided by the gradual building up over many thousands of your years of social complex distortions which create a tendency towards confusion, shall we say, or baffling of the service to others aspect of this energy transfer and subsequent opportunities for service to other selves. Question 31.5 Questioner, if a sexual energy transfer occurs in green ray, and I am assuming in this case that there is no red ray energy transfer, does this mean it is impossible for this particular transfer to include fertilization and the bidding of an entity? Answer, I am Ra. This is incorrect. There is always the red ray energy transfer due to the nature of the body complex. The random result of this energy transfer will be as it will be as a function of the possibility of fertilization at a given time in a given pairing of entities each entity being undistorted in any vital sense by the yellow or orange ray energies, thus the gift, shall we say, being given freely, no payment being requested either of the body, of the mind, or of the spirit. The green ray is one of complete universality of love. This is a giving without expectation of return. 
Question 31.6. Questioner, I was wondering if there was some principle behind the fact that a sexual union does not necessarily lead to fertilization. I'm not interested in the chemical or physical principles of it. I'm interested in whether or not there is some metaphysical principle that leads to the couple having a child or not, or is it purely random? Answer, I am Ra. This is random within certain limits. If an entity has reached the seniority whereby it chooses the basic structure of the life experience, this entity may then choose to incarnate in a physical complex which is not capable of reproduction. Thus we find some entities which have chosen to be unfertile. Other entities, through free will, make use of various devices to ensure non-fertility. Except for these conditions, the condition is random. Question 31.7 Questioner, thank you. In the previous material you mentioned, magnetic attraction. Would you define and expand upon that term? Answer, I am Ra. We use the term to indicate that in your bisexual natures there is that which is of polarity. This polarity may be seen to be variable according to the, shall we say, male-female polarization of each entity, be each entity biologically male or female. Thus you may see the magnetism which two entities with the appropriate balanced male-female versus female-male polarity, meeting and thus feeling the attraction which polarized forces will exert one upon the other. This is the strength of the bisexual mechanism. It does not take an act of will to decide to feel attraction for one who is oppositely polarized sexually. It will occur in an inevitable sense giving the free flow of energy a proper, shall we say, avenue. This avenue may be blocked by some distortion toward a belief condition stating to the entity that this attraction is not desired. However, the basic mechanism functions as simply as would, shall we say, the magnet and the iron, 